had to throw away my old phone Speaking reckless over the line to leave you long gone He tried to press me for mines, I gave four to him Gunshots, that's the way you gotta talk to him Hey yo, LAZ Check the bro Shalaw from Queens. He got that fire. You heard? Put his name in on SoundCloud. Matter of fact, check the comments and the description. I'm going to have a link to some of his music. You heard? Z-Lord. Ayo, hey, shout out to Sasha. Shout out to the whole Dorchester, the whole Boston, Roxbury. Now, I mean, if you from Boston, leave a comment. Let me know what part of Boston you repping. You heard? Now, I mean... Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss no new episodes. You heard? Subscribe to the St. Lance channel and the Gem Pop TV channel. You heard? We moving out here. Z Lord, let's get it. Okay, so my friends and I, we were young. We were like. Now, mind you, I'm not really good. I, I have a very bad short-term memory from driving buses. So certain shit I can't remember that I should remember, like ages and shit. So forgive me if my numbers don't add up. But I, I believe we was like 16, 15, 16. We was young. So one of my friends was dating this guy and... We met his brother through the guy that she was dating. So we all used to get up, chop it up, chill, you know, have a good time. They was spending bread. Money wasn't a thing. And um, they was cool people. They wasn't on no sucker shit, no slimy shit. So they was good, cool people. So we, we knew the brother through that brother. So boom. He calls us out the blue one day. We're in, the, we're in the crib just chilling, doing nothing. And he's like, what y'all doing? Um, I want y'all to um, take this ride with me, and I'll explain the rest later. So mind you, we had chilled with him mad times before, so we wasn't on alert. We didn't think it was no funny shit involved. So we was like, sure. And... So we got ourselves together and he waited and then we took off with him. So as we taken off with him, he's like, yeah, I'm about to, I got this five star joint and I want y'all to stay with me for, lay low with me for a couple of days. And, you know, I'll hit y'all off. I'll make y'all comfortable. Um, how do you feel about that? And we was like, that's cool, whatever. So we get to the hotel. Now, mind you, he got like a a carry-on bag. It was like a, a one of them Louis Vuitton duffel bag joints. But I didn't think nothing of it. Nigga staying in a hotel, he need a, you know, all his toiletries, whatever. So that wasn't nothing to to raise an eyebrow to. So we get in the room, we chilling. He orders room service. It's way out the way in the boonies. But it's nice. So we're not asking questions about why we're here because that we knew that wasn't a part of the deal. We was just there to, to, to reap the benefits of the situation. So he ordered road service. We had champagne. We was just reminiscing, listening to music. Um, and it was like two queen size beds. And it had like a, a living room attached to it. It was nice. It had like a kitchenette in there. And um, we was just chilling for days and he was just giving us bread every day. And um, we was out in the boonies so they had the outlets out there. Like Coach, Polo, Tommy Hilfiger, everything like 50% off. So I was like, fuck that. We got all this bread, my nigga. Let me get them keys. I know how to drive. <laughs> my father taught me how to drive when I was 12 in the country. Let's go down the road to the to them fucking stores and go shopping. We ain't got to find the shit in, in the hood or in the city that's out here. So, man. And I asked him, like, can we go? down the street to the outlets and he was like sure 
just don't fuck my car up. So we went and we went shopping every day that we was there. We felt like we was motherfucking uh, Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown, my nigga. <laughs> Cause that's when they was popping. You heard Kim was popping, Foxy Brown. Um, we went crazy in the polo outlet, crazy in the um, Nautica. Um, I wasn't really onto Tommy Hilfiger like that, but I did have a big ass Tommy Hilfiger um, goose bubble jacket. That shit costed like four hundred dollars, and I fucking got out of Macy's with that bitch. <laughs> but that's a whole another story. <laughs> But um, yeah. So we was just in the in the hotel with this nigga, and then but he was mad, annoyed it though. He was like, he didn't want to go out. He's like, y'all could go out. Just don't be talking hood. Just you know, go be in and out. Don't bring attention to yourself. So we stayed there for like three days, and then he brought us home. We had so many bags, it was crazy, and um. And we had money in our pocket. And then a couple of months later, he ended up getting bagged. He had, um, they called him for how he got that money. Let's just put it like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit was on the, yeah, this is crazy. That shit was crazy. But mean, I he, 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 popped crazy. Up, he popped up on the news after, he, after y'all left? Like months way down, but we didn't even know nothing about son. Like we was just reaping the benefits. That shit was crazy. So he was laying low from the robbery with y'all, or whatever he did with y'all. Yeah, and we didn't even know we was oblivious, money. And that's just how smooth he was. That's just how smooth he was. And he was giving us like thousands of dollars a day. Thousands of dollars a day each. That shit was lovely, my nigga. We <laughs> soaked all that green up. All of it. That was a when chasing, when chasing some bread went, goes right. <laughs> yeah. That shit was lovely, nigga. We had, we thought we was motherfucking rap stars, my nigga. <laughs> they had the Nike outlet too, and that's when Dunks and 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 and, and Air Forces, Low Tops, was out, was was popping, and Timberlands and the Field Boots. I remember I got these motherfucking Fuchsia Field Boots, my nigga. The Timberland joints. Nobody had those shits. It was leather <laughs> with the Gore-Tec. It was dark fuchsia where the Gore-Tec part was. Nobody had them shits. <laughs> and I had mad other shit. I, man, I was a good lick that day, boy. The nigga gets... He gets fucking um, booked. But I'm just what saying, what you seen popped up on the news? What did you see... Oh, yeah, they got him. I, they had him all out, walking out the courtroom with his head down. Nigga had a hoodie on, but they showed his face, my nigga. <laughs> you, know, you know how they do, niggas. And um, I was like, oh, shit. So I, then the dots started connecting. I just connected the dots from there. But that, 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 that Louis Vuitton duffel bag he had, that shit had over $500,000 in it. Hmm cash money my nigga and none of us went through the bag he didn't have to tell us don't touch my bag because he was laying next to the bag like it was a motherfucking newborn baby anyway you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah over 500k in that bag and none of us touched the bag even when a nigga went to the bathroom none of us even looked in the bag because we was loyal like we wasn't a, back then people wasn't violating each other how they do now you know what i'm saying 
people people have respect back then. But yeah, it was over 500k in that bag. That's for crazy. real. I wonder how much they. I wonder how much he got to spend before they found that shit. Yeah, I know, right? Calculate that. Y'all was <laughs> y'all was the only motherfuckers who got to spend something. Exactly, nigga. We we was. <laughs> How much y'all think? How much you say you think y'all spent? He was giving us like three, four G's a day. We was there for three days. See, I was smart. I wasn't spending all my money. You heard? Because they had jewelry outlets too. Them hoes was, you know what I'm saying? Buying diamonds and, 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 and pearls and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was the smart one. I say every time he gave... I saved some of the shit. You know what I'm saying? But that shit was crazy. Imagine if we was behind me. But we wasn't. We wasn't. He ain't no he ain't, and he ain't getting he ain't none of none of them girls that, how many girls he took? How many of y'all was it? It was three of us. Nobody gave him no pussy or nothing like that? Nah, he ain't even... He wasn't on that type of time. He was a gentleman. He was like a nerd on some real shit. But he was one of them nerdy type niggas that was like into the streets on the low but kept a low profile. Niggas wouldn't suspect him because he's a nerd to even be (laughs) into what he's into. You know what I mean? That nerd shit was his shield. Those be the ones, though. Yeah, man. You got me saying that shit. Yeah, man. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga said a German Bernard. Yo, I almost pissed on myself, though. (laughs) And niggas said the polo boots. Niggas said niggas be fucking scuffling. Like, what's up? Because <laughs> <laughs> I seen that shit. So when a nigga do a little skit or something, you heard, and then you he, he looked just like the niggas you been to in your life. So, and that shit just be so funny. Like, look at this shit. He is not telling no lies. <laughs> Polo boots, man. Niggas be low with them shits. Them shits, them shits had they time, baby. That's so funny because I got a, st- a little story about that shit. What about some polo boots? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a little five minute joy, but it's funny. Well, it's funny. Go ahead, look, I'm recording. Go ahead, let me hear it. It's so funny because before I watched your polo boots um, joint, like a couple of days before last, me and my comrade was talking on the phone and he was going out with his brother. Now, mind you, they both did hard time and the feds, so now they, you know, they just trying to get their life together and have fun. So, you know, they be hitting the club sometime and they be trying to get all uh, fly and shit, you know. That means something to a nigga that, that did time. And I don't know what it is, but when they go out, they just got to make a statement. So he's like, yeah, me and my big brother went out and he asked me, yo, what you wearing tonight? And so... My comrade told him what he was wearing. And then he asked his big brother, what you wearing? And he's like, yeah, I'm wearing this shirt. But I'm like, you know what? I, I got to break out my polo boots. <laughs> and then my comrade was like, polo boots? Them shit's as ugly as fuck, my nigga. That buckle? Hell no. <laughs> what you said? The nigga, had just, the nigga had just came home and he didn't know them shits was out of style? No, he been out, but 
he just liked them shits, I guess. Some some niggas just like them boots. You know, everybody had them shits, so some niggas just wear, I guess, wear with everybody. I, I never cared for them, <laughs> them boots, though, on men. I never really cared for them. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. My father got a pair of polo boots. I mean, we all had a pair. No At shit. one time, they was the shits, but then, you know, they started, niggas started selling them shits for for a good ninety dollars and all of that, seventy five dollars, they 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 knocked them shits off the totem pole. Then they started getting weird, putting but weird looking buckles on them and shit. Like the colors was getting weird. Like shit started looking plastic. <laughs> At first they came out back in the days. Polo boots was the shit, the moccasins and all of that. But when yeah, them shits, when that resurge of polo boots came out and they started making the horse mad big on the side of the boots and all of that. Them shits wasn't looking good no more, my nigga. Them shits, them shits took a motherfucking dive. In the deep end, my nigga. And, and Straight up. <laughs> Niggas was so Nowadays, rough. you see a nigga with a pair of them shits on, nigga. You just already know what time it is. He all type of criminals or crackheads and all of that. Just Only crackheads wear them shits. Yeah, ma. But nigga. yeah, so he was like, yeah, that fucking buckle, nigga, that turns the whole boot off. I don't like them, them, them shits, bro. <laughs> but his brother did wear them, and then boom, three days later, here you go. You gonna upload polo boots, nigga. I sent that shit to him. He was rolling. And I was like, wasn't we just talking about this <laughs> No, I was on the Lord crying when I watched that Polo Boots upload, yo. That shit had me in tears, son. <laughs> yeah, man, them shits is looking rough. <laughs>